Good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome to another edition of Friday Night Drinks. I am your host, Ashley McPherson. Storytelling has been a much treasured part of the human psyche since the earliest forms of communication with the cavemen. Spoken word, cave paintings, interpretive dance, closely followed by Facebook. People soon began writing their stories down, publishing them, sharing them with the entire world, and modern literature became a staple of human art. Then in typical human fashion, we got bored and started watching movies instead because it takes far less time than reading the book. <laughs> except for the book version, except for the movie versions of Les Miserables and uh, Lord of the Rings, which arguably take the same amount of time. Tonight, the topic is books adapted into movies, and our team captains, as always, are Stephanie everson Williams and Joey Philpott. Steph, are you a reader? Do you read lots of books? I am a reader. I'm, I'm literate, so it's good. That's a yeah. very, that's very, very yeah, handy yeah, being literate. Handy. Yeah. So now, yes, I do read. Excellent. Now, Thanks, Joey, mm. books or films? Uh, what films, do you films, films, definitely. I'm, I'm very lazy really? when it comes to the book. The only really series I've ever read was Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure. ashamed to say. Yeah. Yeah, but books are normally better than films, aren't they? Don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Never read one. Okay. We're going to introduce the two guests tonight. We have on the green team Luke Robinson and we have Ren Kelly on the red team. Luke, are you a reader? Come on, surely. I'm more of a I'm more of a film person than a reader per se. Yeah. But uh, you know, I I can read. So. <laughs> we're literate this yeah. team, so we're good. Team we're literate. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Ren, favourite film? Um it would probably have to be the nightmare before Christmas, actually. Was that based on a book? No. It was based on a poem. Yeah. Hopefully it'll come up. Maybe you might get lucky. <laughs> okay, uh, Barkeep, whose book do you have to adapt to get a drink around here? That was a joke. Matthew and his assistant Veronica have mixed us a drink. What have we got tonight? Tonight, Ash, I'm feeling a little bit magical. We have something straight from the pages of a Harry Potter novel. I bring to you, bring to you butter beer. Yes. A butter beer. Thank I like you. it. D drawing inspiration from Harry Potter. Harry Thank you very much, Matthew. Harry Potter. Shame that you... I've thought of another joke. Yes, sir. Cheers. I've thought of another joke. Maybe you could mix us all sort of Veritas serum and you'll all get the right answers. <laughs> <laughs> How dirty was that? Oh, that was terrible. Don't forget to check out our YouTube page. I get funnier as the night goes on as I get more drunk. Sorry, drink responsibly. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV. Matthew will give you a tutorial on how to make this and several other beverages. And as always, our bar team will be competing for the trophy tonight alongside our other teams. Not Is everyone ready to... It smells it, delicious, it really does. Absolutely, Ooh. well he's a, he's a master up there, Matthew and Veronica. So, is everyone ready to get started with some, uh, with some warm-up Q&A? Yes. Okay. Excellent, yes, okay. Warm-up as in no points counted? Uh, no, the points will be counted. Okay. It'd be, be a shame to come here and come all the way here and then waste the time. Okay. okay, here we go. First question, buzz in if you know the answer. Name the debut novel by Audrey Nifniger that is about a man with a genetic disorder that causes him to travel unpredictably. Time travel, I'm pretty Excuse me. Greens. Uh, I was... Just the time travel thing made yeah. me think of... Like... Uh, I was going to say, maybe like the butterfly effect. Yeah. Or... Well, we got... Well, not the butterfly yeah. effect. Do the Reds want to give it a crack? Do you want to crack the, like, the time traveler's wife or something like that? No idea. Uh, I don't oh. think that was a book, but that's all it we got. Book, time traveler's wife? It yeah. was a book, and you are correct. Oh, yeah. OK. Thank you. So there you go. He's not even a reader, and he's got the first question. Yeah. Here we go. You'll know this one. What is the name of Dan Brown's 2003 mystery detective novel involving, yes? The Da Vinci Code. It is The Da Vinci Code. Great. The Greens are on the board as well. Which Arthur Golden novel was turned into a film in 2005 about a young... Greens? Continue. <laughs> Can I, can I continue? A young girl, I'll tell you that much. A young girl. I thought we were going um, drag girl with the dragon tattoo, but now I don't yeah. think we are. Um, well, there's a girl involved that, in that. You might be right. Is that 2005? Uh, three, I, I, I'm two, guessing girl with the what, dragon tattoo. Not a girl with the dragon tattoo. Does anyone else want to have a crack? A girl sold to slavery who becomes a geisha. Memoirs of a geisha. Memoirs oh. of a geisha. Very, very good. Yeah. That was the key word. That was word. the key word. <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> I should have waited for the geisha part of it. It's fine. And it slavery. You should listen to that too. Here we go. <laughs> Name the 2011 film with Daniel Craig that shows greens. That'd be, it'd be James Bond, but yeah. is it Casino Royale? It's not Casino Royale, no. I read. I think it's we'll go with the one we just said before, the girl oh. with the dragon tattoo. It was the girl with the dragon oh, tattoo. Oh, I, I could not wait to see the look on your <laughs> face yeah. after that oh, one. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Which Shakespeare play... Is an uh, is animated classic The Lion King based off of? Oh. Um, the bar staff got in there first. King Lear, Ash. Uh, it's not King Lear. No, does anyone else want to have a crack? I think the Reds wanted to have a go. Is it Hamlet? 
It was Hamlet. Oh, yes, yes. Because I uh, never were, knew that. I oh, never knew that. That's either. very that's interesting. interesting. Very interesting. We are all learning something tonight. This is great. Wow. Now we've got our odd one out round. Our teams will need to work out which place, person, or thing in the following list does not belong. Is everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Buzzing in. Here we go. <clears throat> Harry Potter, Neville Longbottom, or Hermione Granger. Have a think. Who's the odd one out? Yes, Greens. I'm gonna go with Neville because he's yeah. not part of the Scooby group. Scooby Doo group. It's not Neville. Did the Reds one have a shot? Yeah, it's Hermione. Oh, she's a. Of course, she's, she's a, a muggle. She's a muggle-born. Oh, she's a muggle. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, very good. They're on. They're onto it. They're onto it. Bloody muggles. Here's the next one. <laughs> a Clockwork Orange, The Beach, or The Great Gatsby. Greens. I'm going to go with uh, Clockwork Orange, as it doesn't have Leo in it. Uh, that wasn't the answer that I have, but I'm going to give you that because yeah. that is absolutely correct. Yeah. The Great Gatsby yeah, and the Beach were both films starring Leonardo DiCaprio. What was your answer? Oh. The answer that I have was that the Great Gatsby is American, the other two are British. Oh. Okay, yeah, mine's better. So. If you can convince me, then you can you can probably get points for just about any answer. Here's the next one. The Aviator, The Basketball Diaries, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, or This Boy's Life. Those were all also Leonardo DiCaprio films, yeah. but which one is the odd one out? Um, the, red, the Greens one have a shot. I was going to say Basketball Diaries. I'm not too sure, but we've got a, a one in three chance. So I suppose, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Are you sure? No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> we've gotten nowhere. Um, so give us an answer. <laughs> I'll take it off you. Ba we'll go ba basketball, basketball Diaries. Basketball Diaries. It's not the Basketball Diaries, it's The Aviator. That was not a film adapted from a book. Which is the key yeah. behind the whole theme okay. tonight. Okay, we're yeah. going to move on to uh, guess the movie. I will give you an obscure description of a film, and you have to figure out what uh, what film it is that I'm actually referring to. Okay, buzz in if you know the answer. Okay. Young boy runs errands for an older man, while on the way he fights some inner demons and makes lifelong friends. Harry Potter. Uh, not Harry Potter. No, no. no. It was quite vague. Uh, Does anyone else want to go? Greens. Could you just say it one more time, Ashley McPherson? A young boy runs errands for an older man while on the way he fights some inner demons and makes some lifelong friends. Mm, the older man is extremely much, much taller than him. So much older. So, it's going to be, uh, and there's demons, and he's really old. Um, I'm stalling for you to think of it. Um, I'm going to have to say no, it's Lord of the Rings. You took far too long there. <laughs> oh, okay. A much older gentleman enters a relationship with an emotionally stunted teen. Fast off? Uh, I believe the answer is Twilight. Uh, correct, it was Twilight. Yeah, yeah, very obscure. I didn't know you read that, Matthew. Okay, <laughs> we're going to have to go for a point tally now. Uh, let's check the scores down the bottom. Okay, the red team are out to an early lead. They're on five. They, the green staff, are the green staff. The green team are on two. The last staff are on one. Now, don't go anywhere because after the break we kick off our songs round. Let's test your knowledge at home. Which Jane Austen novel was adapted into a 1996 TV movie starring Gwyneth Paltrow? Leave it for them. It's their only chance. It's their only chance. And they've got a whole ad break to think about the answer. See you soon on Friday Night Drinks. Welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. Before we go a second further, let's answer the home viewer question. I asked you what Jane Austen novel was adapted into a 1996 TV movie starring Gwyneth Paltrow. If you said Emma, then good for you. However, I am relatively unimpressed. You did have three minutes. Let's face it, you probably got out your phone and Googled the answer and you can't prove that I'm wrong. Now, the scores leave us. Here we are. We have the green team on uh, two points. We have the red team on five points. Our bar team are on one. We now come to my favourite game. It's called Just Two Seconds. It's a music segment. You will have two seconds of a music song and you have to try and guess uh, uh, guess what song it is now mm. they are all based on our theme tonight they, they might have featured in the soundtrack of a film that was based on a book or you might indeed get the theme song from a particular film all right here we go the first song please oh that's yes, gonna be Mitch. Twilight Muse that was Twilight can you give me the name of the song yeah, um, yeah. Muse uh, what was it called um, <laughs> Oh no. It's a good one. Oh no. We might have to go to the greens. Uh, Supermassive Black Hole. Oh, Supermassive Black go. Hole, absolutely. And I was into it before Twilight put it on their soundtrack. You liked it before. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Okay. Uh, that might have just been a theme song, that one. Yeah. Red? Is, yes. it, is it the Harry Potter? It's be it Harry was Harry Potter, Potter. Oh, yeah. it certainly was. You know you're Harry Potter. Okay, let's go with the next one. Nothing about my life. Huh? All the bar staff want to have a crack? 
Is it my life? Not correct. It's open to the other teams. Let's have another listen. Nothing about my life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody? Okay, we're going to have to move on. That was uh, uh, The Living Proof by Mary J. Blige from The Help. Perhaps a little bit more obscure. Ah, okay. Okay, here's another modern one. Well, you still love me. Reds. When I'm no longer young and beautiful. Young and beautiful is correct. Well done. Can you end the film? Um. Um, All you needed was the song, that's okay. okay it's actually, thank you. It is from The Great Gatsby and Young and Beautiful oh, is the name of the song yeah. by Lana Del Rey. Uh, yeah. This one, I'll be disappointed if you don't know this one. Greens. I just buzzed because he said he'd be disappointed in me. Yeah. My father I'm sorry, figures, I didn't so. mean to pressure, I pressured her. Um, it, was a, it was a bit 90s, yeah. hip hop. Mm. Could we hear it again, potentially? Okay, go on. Straight Capote. Straight Capote. Um, oh, no. oh, I'm going to have to Vogue. Vogue. It is Vogue. By it's Vogue. Madonna. Yeah. Vogue by Madonna from the Devil Wears Prada. Devil Very Wears well Prada. done. Oh, and for the record, I wouldn't nice. have been disappointed. I was just being being animated for the TV. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with What's another one. Feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, Reds. Oh, that's from the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It is indeed the Charlie and the Chocolate oh, Factory theme song. Very, very well over there on, on Team Red. Here's the next one. Perhaps a little bit more obscure. I can tell you that was from Silver Linings Playbook. Do you know the song? Here it is again. Mm. Fell in love with a girl. No, it's yes. called it's called Fell in Love with a Girl. Funny that. Uh, okay. So Silver Linings Playbook. That was a that was a book. Uh, yes, it was, and oh. uh, that was uh, that was a song from the soundtrack for the Silver Linings Playbook. I didn't realise that was a book before it was a movie. Neither did I. We're all learning something. Yeah. Let's have another song and learn something else. Oh, oh, Reds. That's from Jurassic Park. You know your soundtracks. Yeah. It is indeed from Jurassic Park. Oh. Okay, I'm having fun here. Let's have another one. Is it Reds? Was it Mr. Mister? Who do you think you are? No? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Do Greens one have a shot? It's, it's, I feel like it's Aaron Carter and it's... It's not Aaron Carter. Uh, it's from The Princess Diaries. Can I read yeah. the song? Um, Can you? No, no, unfortunately <laughs> not. Google it at home. No, it's actually called The Journey by, uh, by Impulse. By Impulse. Impulse. Okay, we're going, to to have, uh, we're going to have one more. One more song. That one was perhaps a little bit more obscure as well. Let's uh, give it another shot. Mm, far too obscure, that one. That was The Virgin Suicides. Uh, that was the movie. And Magic Man was the name of the song oh. by Heart. OK, here we go. Let's keep moving with the, the musical theme. Finish the lyric. This week, our teams will need to finish the lines from books or movies instead of lyrics. So something a little bit different. OK, here we go. Finish the quote. Frankly, my dear, greens. I give a damn. I don't give a damn. Absolutely, that was from Gone with the Wind. Mm -hmm. Here's this one. Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under greens. The stairs. Uh, under the, the cupboard under the stairs. Yes, keep going. It's, it's his address. It's his address. I'll give you that. Oh, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the, the stairs. stairs. What's the next line on the envelope? Uh, um. My girlfriend's watching, she'll kill me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard oh, no, under the, the stairs. stairs. Does anyone give you, does anyone know the What's street, the street name? What's that, um, um, London? <laughs> it's probably <laughs> okay. <laughs> Four Privet Drive. Oh. In Surrey. Oh, oh dear. Everyone thinks I know everything about Harry Potter, but there's always an obscure little fact. Yeah. Okay, it's time to move on to our Who Am I segment. Teams, listen carefully, buzz in when you know the answer, because as you know, the longer you take, the fewer points that you get. Here mm. we go. Uh, for eight points, I have been giving people chills since the 70s. For six points, to date, 36 of my books have been made into films. That's epic, I didn't know that. Four points, I bet you I'm the reason why you are terrified of clowns. Oh. Green. Stephen King. Oh. In indeed, it was Stephen King. It <coughs> was the book about clowns of mm. topic there. The King of Horror, Stephen King. Who am I this time? For eight points, I am Italian-American. This is no surprise when you see my collection of work. For six uh, points, Greens. 
Godfather. Godfather. Trilogy. Yeah, who am I? Who do you think it could be? <laughs> uh, I've got no idea. What's his name? What's his name? I can't remember. The guy who wrote it, you're thinking? Yeah. You're on the right track. Am I on the right track? Do you know track? his name? Dad. You buzzed in very, very early. I'm going to give you a clue. It starts okay. with M. His first name starts with M. But no, Martin. no. Unfortunately, we need his name, the Reds. No, uh, is it Scorsese? It's, it's no, not Scorsese. No. no, the writer of Godfather, Mario Puzo. Mario oh. Puzo, unfortunately. Okay, who am I this time? I've got a bit of an identity crisis for eight points. My publisher originally advised me to get a day job as there was little money to be made in my field. For six points, yes, Greens? I think it's um, the Harry Potter writer. She was, she was told that. J.K. Rowling. Yeah, J.K. Rowling. We're going to go with J.K. Rowling. Yeah. In, it was indeed J.K. Yeah. Rowling. Wow. Yeah, she was told that uh, she yeah. was very, very unlikely to succeed. Yes. And I wonder who told her that. And I wonder how they sleep at night. Yes. <laughs> who am I? I am a devout member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. For six points, my first book came to me in a dream. Yes, Greens? Is it the Book of Mormon guy? Because I know that's turned into a movie. It's, and it's, it was a book. And it's not the Book came of to Mormon guy. And, no? No, no, okay. it's not the Book of Mormon guy, but I like the way you're thinking. Four Mormon points. I had no intention of publishing my book until my sister okay. read it and told me to, and many people wish I didn't. <laughs> Pretty big clue there. For two points, I am responsible for making vampires sparkle. Oh. Reds. Um, oh, Stephanie Mayer. Stephanie Mayer, yes, indeed. Mm. Uh, so it was her sister. Her sister's to blame. <laughs> Oh, what, what does she dream about, that woman? OK, yes, yeah, so congratulations. Everyone got some points from that round. Let's have a bit of a score recap. Mm. OK, the Greens are still out in front on 17. Yes. The Reds are on 10. This wow. could be a cho your, your chance to win back after last week's heartbreaking loss. After the break, we'll get stuck into our final rounds. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Friday Night Drinks. Hello and welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. Tonight, celebrating books that have been made into films, largely so that lazy people who can't be bothered reading the book can still enjoy a good story. And hooray for laziness. The green team has 17 points, the red team has 10, the bar staff are on one. They really need to pick up the game. It's only because he reads Twilight that he knew that he got one point. Yeah. It's our team's final <laughs> chances to gain some points. So let's kick it off with our true or false round. Is everyone ready to go? Yes. Buzz is still working. Excellent. Here we go. True or false? The Godfather novel is based on upon the so-called five families of the Italian-American mafias in New York City, Greens. Yeah, true. True. Indeed, the story follows a fictitious Sicilian mafia family in New York. True or false, the film adaption of My Sister's Keeper has a drastically changed ending compared to the novel against Jodie Picoult's wishes. True. That is, uh, that is true. Instead of Sister Anna dying in a... Oh, I don't want to give it away, do oh, I? Yes, oh, yes, spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, I don't want to give it it's away. I, I, won't, uh, I won't go any further than that. Read the book. True or false? Actress Emily Blunt was told to lose weight to play the role of Emily in Devil's, Devil Wears Prada. True. She certainly was. Uh, yes, indeed. Anne Hathaway tells a similar story. Okay, true or false? Bram Stoker's Dracula is more significant for modern readers than it was for Victorian readers when it was first released. Well, maybe false. Maybe it was more... It was more of a stigma around it at that time. They yeah. would have thought it to be more realistic. Yeah, it was, it was designed on Vlad the Impaler, so... Uh, <laughs> How much time did it take to think of I'll, I'll go with true. Yeah, we're going to go with true. You are correct. When it was first published, it was not yeah. the bestseller, but it has grown more popular in the 20th century uh, when films based off the novel appeared. All right. So, uh, true or false? There are six novels in the Mortal Instruments series. Red? Uh, we'll go false there, Ashley. Ah, uh, you should have gone true there, oh, Joey. Dear. Oh, yes, uh, there. Uh, yes, there are six of them. Nicholas Sparks was inspired to write the notebook when transferred to Washington for his day job and met a lovely couple at a retirement home. Hmm. Greens? Wow. I don't know, I reckon that's false. Yeah. I reckon that's false yeah. as well. False is correct. The story yeah. is actually based off his wife's grandparents who were married for over 60 years. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that <laughs> lovely? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm, I'm gooey, melting. True or false? The novel Holes by uh, Lewis Sa Yes. Sorry, keep going, but I, okay. I'll, I'll know it. The novel Holes was originally to be called Wrong Place, Wrong Time, Wrong Kid. Yes. Uh, Reds. What? They buzzed in first, I'm sorry. That's true. That is indeed true. The novel was adapted into a film in 2003. True or false? Michael Sierra. 
Shakespeare's play Macbeth was retold in a 2005 TV more movie about a head chef wanting to take over the business by killing the owner. Uh, the bar staff got in there. False. Oh, you're wrong. You're wrong, Matthew. It's true. The film stars James McAvoy as Joe Macbeth, whose wife urges him to murder the owner to take over his role. Isn't it weird how Shakespeare just get, keeps getting adapted? Disney and now this. True or false? The Perks of Being a Wallflower is a coming-of-age graphic novel about an intelligent freshman in high school. Reds? I think that's true. That's uh, false. Oh, it is an epistolary novel with a series of diary entries by a teenager who goes by the name Charlie. Oh. OK, so on that note, on that uh, confusing <laughs> mouthful of a note, we go to <laughs> lightning round. So the I don't need to read again. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> uh, well, you are literate, so that's a handy skill to have. Here we go. Lightning round. The questions are thick and fast. Here we go. Name the author who wrote the best-selling fantasy series... J.K. Rowling. Yes, yes, it is J.K. Rowling. Good You're guess, right. Good guess. Name the novel by Ian McEwan <laughs> that is set in four time periods around World War II. Uh, uh, Basta. Uh, Cloud Atlas. Not Cloud Atlas. Does anyone else want to give it a go? Benjamin Button. Mm. Oh. No, not Benjamin Button. Oh. Atonement. Atonement is the answer. Oh. Which novel series oh. centres around a boy and a girl from 12 different districts, each being selected and placed into an arena? Hunger okay. Games. Absolutely, Team Red. On the ball. Who is the actor that played Jean Valjean in the film of Les Miserables? <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Lovely buzzer noise. Name Jane Austen's first published work under the pseudonym A Lady. Greens? First one. Oh, I don't know about her first one. Uh, Lightning, oh. Steph. Lightning. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> oh, my mum's going to kill me. What was her Name first a one? a Jane Austen novel. Well, but that would be later. What do you think? Oh, we're going to have to say really man. No OK. Oh. Sense and Sensibility. Oh, Which actor man. took the role as Edward Cullen in Twilight? Oh, that was the Greens. That was the Greens. Uh, Rob, Rob Patterson. Robert Pattinson. Which Glee star wrote and starred in his novel adaptation of A Struck by Lightning? Greens, want to give it a shot? Oh, I forgot his name. The, the, the guy who plays uh, Kurt. Oh. Kurt. I don't know. I, uh, uh, no. I'm sure it, it sounds awful. I haven't um, seen it. Unfortunately, lightning's faster than that. It's Chris Colfer. Yeah. Name the modernised film of Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. Greens. That is, I believe, uh, She is the Man? It's not She is the Man. The Ten Things I Hate About You. Oh, of Ten course it is. Ten Things I Hate About You. That was your thing. Uh, I was, I was thinking, yeah. Mm. Oh, you are literate. <laughs> Who is the author that wrote The Great Gatsby? Last question. Reds. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald is correct, which brings <laughs> us to the end of our lightning round and the end of all questions for tonight, which means it's time for a score check. Who's the winner? Oh, it is the Greens no. after all that. 24 points to 15. Well, congratulations, Ed. It was quite a big win in the end. And you, don't you guys love it? Look at this. Oh, yeah. It looks like you're, you're, you're washing the back of your head with a towel. Congratulations <laughs> to everyone, and uh, especially to you two, given that you're the winners. Yeah. Here's the coveted sparkling There you go, sir. Oh. It's all you. Crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> so the moral of the story is apparently you don't need to do a lot of reading. You just need to uh, watch the movies and you can get just as much knowledge. A big thank you to our special guests tonight, Luke Robinson and Ren Kelly. Thanks, guys. You guys have been a lot of fun. And also, thank you for the drinks tonight, Matthew and Veronica. The, uh, the butter beer, absolutely delish. Yeah, always a pleasure. Oh, okay. Creamy soda is the bomb. And, of course, our wonderful team captains, Joey Philpott and Stephanie Everson-Williams. As always, we have had an awesome and exceptional amount of fun tonight. I hope you have too. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. You know how to use Google. Let's go to Facebook as well. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV. Tweet to us on Twitter, FND underscore TV. And subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, YouTube.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV. I think that's it. I think that's, that's all. Good. That's a wrap. Thanks, guys. See you for drinks next week. My name's Ashley McPherson. Cheerio.